clear more charges are coming. Peralta already faces sexual battery and stalking charges. Reporter Travers Mackle has more on why the judge in this case says he will not seal new motions filed by prosecutors and defense attorneys. He is on your side from Chalmette. The biggest development at today's hearing, prosecutors admitting that more charges are on the way, saying that there's a 99% chance they'll indict Parish President Dave Peralta for additional crimes. Dave Peralta and his defense attorney, Martin Regan, didn't say very much entering or exiting the courthouse due to a gag order in place. I'm going to follow the judge's order, and we cannot make any comments to the press. I apologize, but that's the law. I'm going to follow the law. And a gag order is exactly why both sides are here. Peralta is facing a sexual battery charge and was indicted last year. The case centers on allegations made by his now ex-wife, Sharon. Last week, prosecutors filed a motion asking to allow what they called bad acts into the case. In court filings, they claim Peralta left what they refer to as a rape note in his home, looked at thousands of pornography websites from home and work computers, and was aware of a gambling operation inside parish government. In court, his lawyers said it was nothing but a campaign designed to circumvent the gag order and smear their client. They asked the judge to review all future filings, but the judge denied that motion and only warned both sides to make sure all filings are relevant to the sexual battery case. The state AG admitted in open court there's a 99% chance a superseding indictment will be filed against Peralta in upcoming weeks. The thing that's going through your mind is what else can happen or what's going to happen that's going to make this worse. Um, can it get any worse or anything of that nature? But what we do know is that if they're going to supersede, we have more time to prepare because the trial day will be continued. Another hearing is set on this matter dealing with the sexual battery charge for next Tuesday. Reporting in Chalmette, I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News. And Dave Peralta denies all wrongdoing. He is up for re-election this fall.